We begin tonight with breaking news out of Boston as Governor Charlie Baker announces a new set of restrictions in hopes of slowing down an expected surge of COVID-19 cases following the upcoming holidays. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris Pizzano. And I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. The new restrictions taking aim at indoor capacity as well as outdoor and indoor gatherings. Western Mass News reporter Kayla Burton joins us live in Chicopee now with the very latest. Kayla. Chris and Jordan, for the past week and a half, the state has been in phase three, step one of its reopening plan. The new restrictions will impact businesses even more. Now, under phase three, step one, Capacity for businesses stood at 40%. Outdoor gatherings at public venues were limited to 50 people, and indoor gatherings at public venues were limited to 25. The governor now says as of Saturday, business capacity will be lowered to 25%. Outdoor gatherings at public venues can be no more than 25 people, and indoor gatherings at public venues can be no more than 10 people. During today's briefing, Governor Baker said he reached this decision after looking at the numbers following the Thanksgiving holiday. He says there has been a surge since the end of November, which has shown little sign of letting up. The governor says he understands the impact these new restrictions will have. The decision to restrict capacity at so many businesses is an enormously difficult decision. We all know that these decisions carry very negative ramifications on people's livelihoods and their families. Governor Baker saying today's decision does not impact schools and his administration continues to push for districts to have in-person learning. Now, as the governor said, today's announcement impacts a wide range of businesses right here in Western Mass. Coming up later tonight on Western Mass News at 6 o'clock, you'll hear from, from Tara Grill right here in Chicopee and how this decision impacts them and what it will look like moving forward after the holiday. But for now, live in Chicopee, Kayla Burton, Western Mass News.